What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today you guys are probably wondering what I have in my hands, but if you guys saw from the title and the thumbnail, we are actually going to be catching a bunch of fish that are inside of that aquascape pond. So let's head over there real quick, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So let's walk over here, close this door, and right here, just right now, I ordered it yesterday. Amazon Prime is freaking amazing, and it just came in today what it said it was going to do. So what this is, is a fish trap. I didn't want to make a fish trap because they don't always work the best. But actually, before we talk about that, if you guys look very, very closely inside the middle of these fish, see those white ones right there? If you guys haven't checked out Joey Slam's last video, full video, he got me some amazing fish. So go check out Joey Slam on YouTube, and he just bought me some awesome fish to add inside. Of, oh, and exact that one right there too. Very, very bright yellow cichlid. So get some different colorations inside of my giant cichlid pond. But inside of the cichlid pond, we have a bunch of tilapia. And there's a green tilapia in here as well. So with those green tilapia, we're going to take those out and we're actually going to use those to feed my fish. They're nice, fed, amazing fish here. They're all getting fed Missouri. So the fish are getting fed Missouri and they're going to get fed to my monster fish to have some nice, pristine, perfect food for them. So what we're going to do right now is set this bad boy up. This is the first time he... Look at the ducks. Look how big the baby's got. Every single baby survived, you guys. Look how amazing. And the really cool thing, I don't know if you got, I, I know I mentioned it before, but right over there, there is a Indian runner mixed call duck. So I guess the mom got in there with the Indian runners and bred with them. Kenya's right over there. She's coming right now. And she's bringing me a uh, bait for this trap. So what we're going to do is here, you crouch down a little bit. It came a little string, a little red thing. I don't know what this is. And I guess you just open this bad boy up. And it's pretty basic. It's online on Amazon. It was like 12 bucks. I just put a fish trap and it just came right on just came it just came right up so look at this you just close this bad boy up there you go zip it up perfect little hole so we can catch all kinds of little fish the fish are hungry they're ready to go so what we're gonna do is probably get a little bit what do you have in there what kind of food are you robbing bread and dog food all right bread and dog food so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it and throw it inside the middle of this look at this look at this got something mine but look put your hand in there and it catches you it's like a What's that called? I don't even know, like a lobster trap, something like that. But you put the food in the middle, they all swim inside, they try to figure out, they get inside of it, and they can't figure the way out. So that's gonna be an easy, very simple way not to stress the fish out, because we can drop it down into the bottom. It'll sink down to the bottom, and they'll just go in there, and then when you pull it out, you're easy. Instead of grabbing the blue net that you guys seen in the other videos, they're trying to scoop and scoop it, just freaking them out. So let's just grab this dog food, give me a look. Wow, you got a lot of food. You're trying to make these guys have a feast. I don't wanna walk back. Man. Give me here, give me more. You just said that's, that's good. Much. All right. So we got the dog food, it's gonna be very smelly and oily and they're just gonna go nuts for it. So what we're gonna do is just dump it in the middle. There you go. And they're probably gonna nibble around the sides too, but let's see, this is the first time using this trap and let's see how many fish we're able to catch with this trap. So we're gonna just walk a little bit. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And we're probably just gonna drop it into the middle. Look at all the fish. That's, that's, that's freaking hurt my feet. All right, there's a lot of fish in here, so let's just Drop this bad boy in. There we go. They're, they're freaking out. They don't know what to do. But we're going to sink it. It's sinking. It's sinking. It's sinking. It's sinking. And we're probably just going to let it sit for a few minutes. She actually, Kenya had another bag. Oh, they're biting my toes. They're biting my toes. There's actually another bag right there. That's another backup uh, trap just in case. But we're going to let that sit for a few minutes. And then uh, let's see if they figure it out. Let's see what that little red thing does. And there's actually another string that came with it as well as a backup. And I guess that string is a... Um, just an extra string if you're going like deep water stuff but actually i think we already oh no they went underneath it so actually what i would rather do is keep it more on an angle they're, they're smelling it but they're not really getting it they're not going in there that quickly how i want them to do it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it on a higher level because if a higher level they're gonna just go right into the trap look at that let's keep it right there and they might just swim right into it and not even notice put this right here and they might just swim right in hold on Let's turn it a little bit right there it's like a little octagon trap right there perfect now they're biting through the mesh look at them they know it's there they know it's there but once they figure out how to get in it's game over oh we got one going in right there but it's biting through it uh oh let's just back up a little bit they're just gonna have a freaking yeah but i mean that's probably for a pond that's really like deep and stuff like that this is just like know. oh maybe so we could grab it is that what you're trying to say i think so yeah it's like a little loop let's just have a little tie so we have a little grabbing spot one knot and two knot we only have about 25 minutes of sunlight left so let's see how much we can get hopefully if we catch some fish show you guys what it looks like but um they are biting 
through it right now they're not going in it really so i'm almost thinking about putting it a little bit higher so they have to go through the mesh look i'm almost catching them through it all right so put it right oh my god there's so many of them look on top look on top look on top look above it i think you got one yeah i think we got one too all right but i'd rather get more so what we're gonna do is make sure it gets a little bit lower just that level so they have to go in it oh food's coming out get back in there get back in there all right there we go so there we got one fish in there already and it's on a lower level right there so let's back up a little wait, bit wait put that side in there hit that side more in yeah look they're not even in the water the whole line in the water oh well, i had the hole on this side in the water that's why okay so maybe we could just like push it a little bit there you go oh yeah you get like scringe it a little bit so it just fits perfectly in that hole oh yeah there you go so now we back up a little bit and let's see what the heck happens let's see if this thing works it's probably going to work better obviously there's nice flowing water and everything there so we could probably throw out oh my god look they're coming in closer now once they figure out the little hole it's game over but what we could figure out also is we could just let it sit here the fish won't go bad they'll just be um one, another one went in yeah but a little one we need the bigger ones i don't want to use the babies i want to get it the ones that are about look how pretty this fish that joe is playing put in here look at that thing right there albino african cichlid absolutely crazy looking fish right there so gorgeous so uh let's just wait a couple minutes and uh we'll come back to you and see if we get more fish we're not gonna fake it we don't fake things here on the ranch we make sure it actually happens so i got this you guys saw we just bought that trap online and uh we're just gonna wait there's thousands of fish in here look at them all well not thousands probably hundreds but they're oh we got some fish in there back here they got a bunch in there look look see them pushing in and out they're like how do we get in how do we get out but that's okay we'll show you in a couple minutes so we'll come back to you in about three to five minutes and let's see how many more fish we got so uh let's do it so it's been a few minutes now and the fish are actually really going in there a lot now they're oh my god they're bouncing oh my god we got an african cichlid now too <laughs> it's pretty funny They'll, oh there's a lot of there's a lot of movement in there now there's some big stuff in there i think we got a cichlid in there as well there's a lot of pushment in there going happening right now so and they're just keep on coming because they love that food uh kenya can you get a actually there's a clear container right over there there's always a lot of different things just laying around because you know i'm just using stuff all the time so got a huge stuff you know what i mean we actually you've come over here real quick this is the dirty side of the ranch but you see right there there's actually a focada right there grass has been growing absolutely insane over here in the back side of the building because we don't have i don't let the landscapers come over here. i only let them go to that side of the house and uh because this is like my side and i like tall grass but my parents really don't like it and uh but this is my side but whatever so what i did is having natural lawnmowers right now and i have the socadas digging so kenya we have that right there perfect let's grab a little bit of water we have a lot of fish in there right now you guys that is perfect so we're not going to take any of the orange ones hopefully there are some um normal green tilapia so we can use those tonight for some fish feeding but um we got a we got a lot of fish in there look right there we got yellow ones they are going they're like in. going in and then coming out yeah. well some of them yeah but i mean some I of them are mean. getting stuck and they can't figure out how to get back out like, and that's some of them can't even get yeah. See that one right yeah like they're not going in yeah they're biting through it right now that's funny oh that one just went in no nope. oh it did yeah one of them did heck yeah they're not all the way in though see oh 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 look at the uh, freaking albino white ones do you guys see that He's right around here in these rocks. And if you look closely, we got the really bright yellow ones too. Those fish are popping in there. And we have two nets. So if we really wanted to, we could put another net over there in the near future and catch them more often. So I'm growing these fish out to have a very nice entertaining area. But on top of that, actually to raise up these fish to actually feed them to some of the fish here inside the building. To have them nice, very good, healthy food for them, pretty much. I know it's getting grown here. I know what they're getting fed. I know how they're getting raised up and then they're going inside of there. I don't really want to buy them stuff from stores anymore because I don't really know what those stores are giving those fish, where those fish are coming from, who knows what they're eating. I want my fish to be healthy and perfect. And on top of that, I don't want to buy food anymore. I want to just have the food here. I'm giving them the best food in the world, Missouri pellets. You guys seen them on my Instagram. They help me out. I get some awesome stuff for them. They get all the best. There's a lot of fish in there. There's a lot of fish in there right now. They are sucking the sides up like crazy. Once I lift that thing up, it's gonna flop around anyways, everywhere. But anyway, so yeah, best fish food. Giving it inside of there. I just wanna have the best of the best. If you guys listen quietly, it sounds like koi and sucker fish in there. They are just sucking up all the dog food all around us. The ones that are in the trap don't even know they're in the trap. They're actually just eating the food at the same exact time. It's so funny. 
Look at that. They're just grubbing. Oh, we're about to get some more. Scare them in a little bit. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? So let's do this on top of the bridge so we have a better, nice uh, view of it. So let's here we go, Kenya. Grab that right there. Go on to the back side. Cassandra, you go right over there. And uh, we're gonna grab our little device right here. See, Kenya was smart. This is what it's for. So three, two, one. <coughs> How many fish do you guys think are inside this trap? Five, six, 10, 12, 20, 30? I don't freaking know. Let's count it and let's figure it out. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of fish. Look at that, you guys. Oh my God, we caught a lot of fish. All right, we gotta sort through these things. In Kenya, we gotta help out. We gotta go through the good ones and then the ones that we're gonna keep and not keep. You guys get close, get close, get close. It's not a hot day right now, it's the midday, so it's perfect timing. And here we go. All right, let's open this bad boy up. That's fine, if they fall through, they're going right back into the water. All right, so the orange ones, we're throwing back in, Kenya. Look at that, we got, all right, you guys start counting. One, this one we're keeping. No, we're keeping those. These? Yeah, keep those. Look, we got another, oh my God, oh my God, let's put this one back. This? That one's keep. Look at that. Nice, awesome, beautiful cichlid right there. There keep. you go. Keep. Oh, no. Yeah, you can keep down for right now. You guys, look how many fish are inside of here. That is crazy. Blue ones go back. Nice calico ones go back. Look how fat these guys are getting. Oh, my God. That is crazy. Little, little teeny ones we throw them back. Bro, look, look, look. Teeny ones are so hard to grab. All right, just be careful. Oh, my God. We got an African cichlid. Go back, buddy. Back? Yeah, that one can go back. So all the green tilapias are gonna get saved. Those are the good ones that are gonna be the feeders. <laughs> you, you save think? her now. Uh, yeah, we can save that one too. There's a lot of fish in there, so we have to sort them through a little bit and then throw the good ones out. Oh my God, we got an African cichlid. One that Joey just caught. Sorry, Joey. Let's put you back in, um, buddy. That one just jumped out of Look green. at that little cichlid. Oh, Cannonball. Yes or no? Yeah, keep. Keep. Oh my God, look at this. This is one of the new hatchlings. Little African cichlid. Cannonball. Cannonball. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That's a goodness. lot of fish. Bro, that's a lot that's of a lot fish, of you guys. Fish. I didn't, we, all three of us didn't know there was that many. How many do you think you were in there? Cause I know, like 10, 12? Like five. Yeah. <laughs> like five. And we did not, you guys saw everything that just happened. No playing, no fake, no shinga, 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 nothing. All real stuff wait, right wait, here. Open it more. Open it up. Look how many are down there. You're literally squishing them. Well, we're not squishing them. They're Look, just down there. That one keep. All right, cannonball, keep that one. So this is the best way to go through them right here. Cannonball. Cannonball. Ow. <laughs> yeah, they got spines, remember. All right, we're keeping keep that. Wow. Oh. Keeping that one. We're keeping that one. Where we can throw that one back in. All right, another African ticket. Gorgeous, gorgeous, guys. All right, we're keeping that one. We're throwing that one back in. Remember keeping how, this remember one. You said you never touched a fish? Yeah. First time Look touching a fish. Pretty much sorting through the ugly and the good, unfortunately. That's pretty much how it's gonna go in this situation here. So that's not, that one can go back. This one can go back. Oh my God, we got more cichlids in there. Another cichlid, grab that cichlid, put it back in. I thought we were gonna have to do this like another three more times, you guys. And wow, look how pretty that African cichlid is. It's like an orange, blue, and yellow. Throw that one back in. <gasps> oh, it's okay, that's a keeper anyways. Sorry, buddy. Another African cichlid. There you go. We got some minnows. What else do we have left in here? Rocks. Not, wow. not rocks. That's dog food, dummy. Oh. <laughs> all right, but look at that. So we just did all of that right there. That was like what? How fast was that, you guys? How, do, how fast? You guys tell me. Like, the girls, tell me. That was like seven minutes. Yeah, That's ten. a lot of fish right there. That's all going to be food. Wait, this one's food? Yeah, no, that one's not bad. That's a nice one. Wait, I can put that one back in? No, we're going to use all those. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to use all of these for the fish inside of the building. So what I need you all to do right now is make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and put those post notifications on. The reason why I'm telling you that right now is because this is gonna be a part one and part two of the video. Part two is coming on the next video. I will see you later and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this amazing fish trap video. See you later, peace out.